Hello there, welcome to my channel on chemistry lessons. This is BTEC Applied Science Unit 5 Chemistry and it's part of the IUPAC rules and we're going to look at naming alcohols. In terms of the specification, it's a learning game A2. You can see there the third bullet point down. There are other videos already where I've looked at naming alkanes and alkenes. If you haven't seen previous videos on the introduction and those naming videos, then I suggest you'd have a look at those first or you catch them after this video, you will find a link in the description below. By the end of this video, you are going to know how to name these three molecules here, and I'm going to use these as examples. I'm then going to give you a few to try and name yourself, and then we'll go over those answers. If you don't already subscribe, please do. Your support is very much appreciated. Please use the like and comment features and let me know what you think. So as part of a name then we have the suffix which is the end part of the name and there's our three functional groups so far we've got alkane alkene and alcohol so we're introducing the suffix all today for alcohol we have the stem which is the longest carbon chain and those are the the stem parts of the name and then we also have a prefix in some cases that identifies any side chains or we also use the prefix for haloalkanes. So a couple of examples, pentanonol and 3-methyl pentantool. We will look at the answers to those two at the end of this video. We are going to apply these three rules to name these molecules then. So the first thing is to identify the functional group and it will either be an alkane, an alkene or an alcohol. It could be a haloalkane but Reminder that to name a haloalkane, we actually use a prefix. So we need to identify whether it's a haloalkane, an alkene, an alcohol, or an alkane, and we apply the correct suffix, in, in, or o. Then we must identify the longest carbon chain. But that longest carbon chain must include the functional group, and that becomes the stem part of our name. We don't always have a prefix, but if you have side chains or a halogen, then we do require a prefix and we identify the position of that prefix. Probably best to look at a couple of examples first off. Okay, so our longest chain here in this example is four, there's four carbons. Now reminder that we can number it from left to right, but we can also number it from right to left. Now functional group here is an alcohol. So this is butanol. Now I need to use the position of the all. I need to identify the position of the alcohol and it's either one or four, I must go with the lowest number. So this becomes butan one all. That's telling us it's butanol. There's no side chains, <clears throat> excuse me. There's no side chains and it's telling us that the alcohol group is on the first carbon. And just reminder that you may think that's carbon number four, but we can count from left to right or right to left, and then we use the smallest possible number. Next example then. So this is a skeletal formula, which some students do find more difficult. If you're gonna find it easier to convert this to a displayed formula first, then, then do so. Um, there are other videos out there that look at structural, displayed and skeletal formula. Right, so this carbon chain is one, two, three, four, five, six. Don't forget I can number it in reverse as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lowest number being three for the alcohol group. So this is hexan three all. Hexan three all. There are no other side chains. Next up, one, two, three, four. We've got an alcohol and we've got a methyl this time. Okay, so let's number them both ways. One, two, three, four. Now, because I've identified this as an alcohol, I need to go with my lowest number for the alcohol, which is two. So this is butan, two, all. But I do have a methyl on the number three. 
don't call this 2-methylbutan tool because the methyl group is not on the same carbon as the alcohol. I went with the lowest number for the alcohol because I identified my molecule as an alcohol. So the functional group number must be the lowest possible number. So butan 2 that leaves the methyl on the 3 carbon, 3-methylbutan-2-ol. Okay, so I'm going to suggest you pause the video at this point and you have a go at naming or drawing, sorry, if you see if you can draw the skeletal or the displayed formula for these two here. Pentan 1 all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the OH is on the first carbon. There we go there. If you've decided to put the alcohol group down the bottom like this, that's still correct. Or we could have opted to put the alcohol group on the far right hand side because that's still pentan 1 ol. Next up, pentan 2 ol. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alcohol on the second and a methyl on the third. Again, you could have opted to do it this way around. Still the same thing. Hopefully that's been useful then. That's the end of this video. Please make sure you let me know what you think and if there's any other videos you'd like uploading. Good luck. Thank you.